Wait, wait. Yo, Marth? Alright. <laughs> Let's go Ignize. I don't know who you are. I've never seen you before now, but please win. And please win. I love Marth. He's even playing the best Marth color. That is, uh, coincidentally, the Ken Red Marth is the best color. Who? Since Ken Red. I'm in game. Oh my god. Point is. <laughs> Zane the red, the, the red Marth is an excellent color. Yeah, Zane knows. And uh, yeah, I, I love Marth. I actually love Marth in this matchup especially. He's really, really good at his guarding his character off stage. Uh, not really hard to combo Link either. Um, X is amazing Link though. Or XHU, I guess that's what it is called. It's not X2. But uh, yeah, if he gets that Link to use up B on stage, um, that counter is deadly. Yeah, it really is deadly. It's up to X2 to realize if he does, if he's able to pull off the bomb recovery with the self detonation. Because if you can do that, you don't have to worry about that against Marth. But we'll see. I mean, like you said, right? If Ignace is able to get the edge guards and X2 doesn't realize that, it's curtains for Link on that situation. Really good use of Ooh. bomb here and an excellent tech here. Oh, he's going for that tipper F2. Okay. Oh. Nice. He caught him in the middle of the floor there, so that was still good enough for X2 to get that opportunity here. Sends him for the low recovery. This is the jump. Nice play. And again, XHU was the one that won the tournament last week. And now he finds himself, you know, call, trying to qualify for, you know, top eight best of five territory. So this is a already really hype match, I would say. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh Nair won. Nair it's won. a tipper back air. That's a little bit of the buff coming in. It's a lot easier to hit tipper back airs in this patch of, with Marth. So for that, you know set up there to be a little bit easier to connect that's great for ignace oh. yeah and good for x2 to recognize how bomb worked in that situation able to go for a grab up throw is not going to kill link with no rage up throw for link doesn't really count to higher percent and he does need some rage with it out of the way good angle of shield there able to avoid the down air and then able to use the up tilt seeing the cross up and gets the stock oh nice man that's ever wait did that ever up here do 24 yeah all right nice Good damage already here for Ignis. X2 is trying to mix up his landings with these like bomb drops, maybe throwing some nares here and there. But oh my goodness, that tip for so that's so scary. Oh, so close, good, so close. Great, yeah, yeah, great delay though on the upbeat to avoid getting countered, but there it is. The bomb is on stage two, yeah. so he actually has no way to recover in a safe manner. Great way to close off that stock. And he's been going for it because he wants to hold Marth on the stage, which will buy him enough time to make that recovery. Big problem, like you said, Strides, it's easy peasy for Marth if he's actually able to get that counter on the recovery. Yeah, and most times he's linked to just dead if he gets that. Either the counter flat out kills him or he gets sent too far off stage to come back. Ooh, the that was good, that was good. locked him in place, but he wasn't able to get the force smash. That was unfortunate for it. XHU counter. He's Bomb really recovery? Deep no, he's in. yeah, he's it done. It's done for. Went for the downer spike, dude. You're you're dirty, man. I haven't heard of this guy before, but damn, maybe I should have. That was a clean two stock for Ignis. And again, this is best two out of three. So if XHU doesn't clean up his game for the you know the next match, he's out of here. Two zero. Yeah. He is out of here. Two zero indeed. Definitely well demonstrated from Ignaz of what are those things you can do in this matchup in particularly against Link and definitely understanding how Link's recovery is still pretty decent, but it's the worst when it comes to a character with recovery like Marth. I'm sorry, with a counter like Marth in this specific situation here. Yeah, I'm with you, Strides. I've never heard of Ignaz, but the beauty about seeing new players at MSM is they demonstrate that you can always just put in time. Wait, 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 sorry, sorry. I don't care about that. This guy's from SoCal too? Oh, oh dang. I'm sorry, Ignis. You, uh, let let's go, <laughs> let's go. We have we have you, SoCal you, Marth. The so the SoCal gang. SoCal Marth in top eight. That's not me. What? That's crazy. I mean, no bias. Yeah. Okay, so now I know the best I hamsters in chat, and I recognize the homie, the best hamster. So I'm assuming this guy might be from the IE or the Cal Poly area. That's gonna be my guess. That's going to be my guess. Oh, no. You don't sleep on the IE. I don't know if he's actually from there. He is. Oh, he's he is from the IE. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. You never oh. sleep on the IE. You never do. Wait a minute. Marth? Yo? 
Oh, Min Min. Okay. X H U plays Min Min. I knew he played Zero Suit, but I didn't know Min Min. Well, we'll see what Ignis can definitely do against this Min Min here. Top sixty four, SoCal Mart from the Inland Empire, climbing his way up through bracket. Trying to get to the top eight. So yeah, this must be a good Min Min because he's banking his bracket life on this right now. Very similar to how you would recover or kind of cover your recoveries against uh, something like the Belmonts, you can do against Min Min. Difference between the two, though, is that Min Min will always use their tether rather than the Belmonts using their actual up B. So if Marth can definitely get those read opportunities against Min Min, there's a lot that can be done against her recoveries. First tricks first, get her off the stage, and then take it from there here. And with the way that Agnes was able to play against Link, Probably it will be a piece of cake. We'll see here. Down air. Went nice. Look at it set up for the back air and the yeah, tipper as well. My thing while playing this matchup though, I uh, I don't know. I really like edge guarding this character with Marth. And I don't think her landing options are great at all. So once I get her they in here, not. It, it's not it's not good for them, <laughs> usually. But I think what XHU wants is he wants to establish the space in neutral, keep Marth out. It really abused the length of the arms and make it so that, you know, uh, Ignace doesn't get really any momentum. Correct. I think that's the plan. Looking oh, for the edge guard. For great, edge guard, great. Yeah. Oh, no. That was that was a good call, specifically with the positioning that he was with Min Min. Unfortunately, just not enough there. A little too early. Mm. Something that uh, Ignis isn't using that much that I really like is a Dancing Blade. Dancing Blade is so quick. It, um, if Min does anything laggy up close, you can just, you know, get a really quick punish. And if space right, that Tipper Dancing Blade is very strong. But... Tipper forward oh, there. <laughs> well, nice nice gra Dragon Spank shot. Getting some space back on the ledge. Yeah, good spacing out there from Ignis, but also great DI on that situation. Still surviving at 133 to 144, respecting the range that Min Min has with these arms here. Going off the deep end for the recovery and still able to oh, make man. it. But unfortunately, nice. there is the Megawatt arm here in Exu with space to breathe and Ignace with aggression to be found here. As he Ooh. catches the landing, you mentioned it, Strides. Min Min has very, very poor landing options. So there's a lot that Marth can do, especially with that up smash to catch her. Yeah. I mean, honestly, all she can do is jump away, air dodge, or down air, and all those can get punished really hard. Yeah. Super committal from those opportunities here. Tipper down tilt with the forward tilt. Nice one on the sliding one at that. Yeah, he he's fiending for this tipper forward smash. He's trying to kill that 60%. But oh, oh my the double god, the deep, deep tipper back here. It's very easy to edge guard this character. And even more uh, rewarding with Marth now that it's much easier to get tipper back here in this patch. Oh, but there's a megawatt. If you pay attention, uh, X Hugh has only used megawatt and dragon arm this entire time which is understandable because the way that the track ram the ram ram works it's really good with characters with poor recovery martha's recovery isn't too bad actually and it's relatively fast so something like that wouldn't be a difficult situation for marth oh there's the up tilt to the tipper up there trying to see if he can get another landing trap wasn't able to find it x is able to apply some pressure on the platform himself but then he's oh, thinking downer. tipper Ooh. downers no tipper no force tech. Left, he has them off stage oh Landing's getting oppressed right now. Look okay. at the way that Ignis is constantly looking for the position oh. uh, against Exu. The so well goes all the way off stage, destroys him with the tipper. You couldn't even see Min Min's body anymore, and he still got the tipper for a smash. Or sorry, for air and an XHU with the 2-0 defeat.